folks, this is Bill Finney again, continuing with our talk about Black History and Black History Month. Today I'm going to talk to you about Peter Salem. Peter Salem was a patriot and a person who was enslaved but decided that he felt so strongly about his country that he wanted to fight the British as they tried to recapture and take, take over the colonies. Peter was a slave of a major, a patriot major by the name of Lawson Buckminster. Now at the time, Major General George Washington had decreed that no slaves could take arms and fight the British. Well, upon hearing this, Lord Dunmore of Virginia, of course a British uh, subject, and uh, the executive in, in Virginia at the time, said that any slave that agreed to fight against the colonials, against the patriots, would be freed by the British and have a good life afterward. So George Washington changed his dictate that slaves couldn't fight. And so Peter Salem, now a proud slave of Major Buckminster, had heard that there was a law against fighting and he wanted to fight. And his patriot owner, Major Buckminster, said, I'll free you. He freed Peter Salem, and the two of them fought together at some significant battles in revolutionary history. They fought at Lexington, Lexington and Concord. They fought at Bunker Hill, was actually fought on Breed's Hill, but it was called the Battle of Bunker Hill. They fought in the Battle of Saratoga, and they fought at Monmouth and the Battle of Stony Point. All in all, Peter Salem fought five years during the Revolution, from 1775 to 1780, and lived to talk about it. He fought, is given credit for, killing at Bunker Hill, Major, British Major, Picarn. Picarn was uh, winning the Battle of Bunker Hill, and the Patriots were losing. Picarn climbed upon uh, a pedestal, and yelled to the patriots, surrender, throw down your arms, and you'll be spared. The fighting stopped, and the patriots looked at each other, and Peter Salem answered that with a musket shot to Major Picard's chest, and the fighting resumed. Now, the patriots didn't win the Battle of Bunker Hill, but it fired them up enough to keep the war going. Peter Salem lived to the ripe old age of 65 years old, and he died in Framington, Massachusetts, as an old man. So he was kind of renowned and, and renowned for being a fierce fighter during his time during the Revolutionary War.